before I actually started to post on his channel again, there were five things I found that I needed in order to stay consistent based on the countless videos I watched on how to be successful on YouTube, which is what I'll be talking about in this video. Number one, a computer, a tablet, or a phone, or all three. You would need at least one of these pieces of tech to start a YouTube channel. Without either of these things, you won't be able to sort, process, and edit your videos. I will link what I use down in the description below. I also want to highlight that DaVinci Resolve is now on iPad. You have access to a powerful video editing software or program. And if you feel that it's too advanced for you, then you have LumaFusion and iMovie. Both programs, LumaFusion and iMovie, are powerful programs that can get you the same result. A place to cut and edit your videos. Also add some sound effects, which you can get from epidemic sound uh, and with the link in the description you can get a 30-day free trial they'll also let you add some visual effects which you can create in canva and i've also linked that down in the description as well and on a computer you have powerful programs like davinci resolve final cut pro premiere pro and a number of other software programs that can produce the same result edit a video test out the different programs to see what works best for you based on the device you were using now with the iphone you have luma fusion adobe rerush imovie and probably a ton of other apps that you can find on the app store i'm not sure if there are any available on android do let me know down in the comments below but definitely look into it and try to save as much money as you can when starting out because there are some pieces of gear i'll be talking about in this video that is much more important than everything i just mentioned so stick around for that but number two editing software we covered editing software a bit in number one but in the beginning the editing software doesn't have to be too complex you can use iMovie on an iPad or iPhone although I would highly recommend starting out with DaVinci Resolve because it is a complex program and the earlier you learn how to use the program the better you will get at using it much quicker than you would if you were to start off in iMovie or LumaFusion and then have to go and relearn an entire program. I say this because I've been using DaVinci Resolve for about two days and I feel like I know what I'm doing already. It doesn't take too long to learn it, but I wish it was a program that I started out with. But if you do prefer to start off with iMovie on iPad or iPhone or on your computer, eventually you will want to graduate to a more complex program like LumaFusion and DaVinci Resolve. But it is essential you have an editing program to create more engaging content. And right now, all you need is something to edit your audio and video. Choose whichever program you feel like you wanna start in. And then if you wanna to graduate to something else later on, go ahead and do that. Also, I've noticed that some social platforms have ways you can edit your videos right in the app, which is very convenient. It may seem like it's the best thing you should do, but definitely invest some time in using an uh, actual editing software. Which brings us to number three, the camera, because you actually need something to capture the video. And I'm an advocate for having a proper camera and not using an iPhone, but that's just me. Just make sure you have a phone that has a decent camera to create the content if you don't want to get a camera. Because in, in the case of having a phone, you have a one-stop shop to recording, editing, and posting your videos. But if you have a proper camera, then you're already miles ahead of the phone camera, depending on the camera you have. But let me define a proper camera. A proper camera is a interchangeable lens camera that can shoot in a flat or log profile. Even though I recommend you use it as soon as possible because shooting log comes with a steep learning curve. If you are more comfortable with shooting on your phone, then I would recommend shooting with the Moment app. It allows you to shoot in a log profile on your phone. That would be a great starting point on learning how to shoot with log. So when, when you get the proper camera, it, it, it won't be the learning curve won't be that steep and a middle ground between a phone and a proper camera if you don't want a proper camera and you don't want to use your phone then get an action camera they do all the same thing record videos some just do better than others but choose one starting out you can't go wrong I have a gopro but most importantly you need a good quality microphone and you can get a good one for the cheap Which brings us to number four, 
the microphone. Some action cameras like the GoPro cameras have great internal audio. In this case, you don't need to get a separate microphone. They're also modular, which means you can add elements on the external part of the body, such as a media mod kit and a lens adapter to increase the video and audio that comes out of the GoPro. I have the GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod kit, and sometimes I attach external monitor, but the audio is good right out of it. But if you are using a phone and a proper camera, then you can go with something like a wireless microphone. There are some semi-affordable ones like the X5 wireless mic right here. It is small, compact, has long battery life, and the quality is great. There are other options like the Rode microphone, like here's the Rode Go, the first version. This is also great. And then you have more expensive ones like the Pico Gear wireless system, which is my favorite system to use. It is definitely expensive for when starting out. So look into it, do your research. And then once you get to the point to where you feel like you want to invest in a $500 wireless system, then go ahead. I think it's 400, not 500. But anyways, there's a, a vast range of audio options out there when it comes to wireless microphones but then you have the shotgun mics like the road mics which is what i'm using right here then there's the daddy mics which i use when i'm out recording in the world which are affordable when looking at the entry level mics like this one here i believe is like 99 dollars. the quality of these mics are great like right out of camera you don't need to add too much audio processing but i would recommend you do because when you do they sound super nice here's how this mic sounds without any audio processing and then the whole entire video was how it sounds with audio processing. I know that was a lot, but I want to emphasize how important your audio is. It is more important than video and more important than everything else that I've mentioned on this channel. As long as you have good audio, you're about 65 to 70% there. And then you can add another 5% with a tripod, maybe 10%, which is number five, a tripod. You need a good, sturdy, versatile, tripod you can find a good sturdy tripod at a thrift store on amazon on ebay they're basically everywhere i walked through the salvation army store a few days ago and i found about five good tripods that were between eight to fifteen dollars but i would recommend you go to uh, your local camera store ask questions about a good sturdy tripod that is within your budget support your local camera store and ask all about what i mentioned in this video it is fun buying from amazon but the experience is a hundred times better when you go and ask questions handle the gear before you buy it and get some pointers from the people who know more about all of this gear than i do they may be able to recommend better stuff than i can so when you have a good sturdy tripod uh, audio, a good decent microphone, a camera and editing software, you're about 80 to 90% there because then all you need to do is show up. But I have some more recommendations that you can check out in this playlist right here and also hit the like and subscribe button while staying awesome. Stay awesome.